camouflage man. Sporting his army bits, camo trousers and camo jacket, it can be quite difficult to pick camouflage man out for the rest of high street shoppers. More often than not, camouflage man will complete his daring ensemble with a trapper hat. Other accessories include a fishing rod, blue poly bag and a lurcher. Really busy sportswear woman. This colourful Ayrshire character can be seen every morning running red lights outside the school and parking in the yellow zigzags. Gone ballistic at her two half sleeping wains and dressed exclusively from the Sports Direct yoga section. We can only assume that she is desperate to go to the Pan Ayrshire yoga class that happens every morning at half nine and must have about 400 attendees. Beauty students. When the rest of us are slowly making our way to work in the morning, beauty students have been up for four hours doing their hair and makeup to sit at a desk all day and learn about hair and makeup. Be careful not to stumble in the lunchtime watering hole because it can look like an explosion in a paint factory to the untrained eye. Music students. Music students are almost exclusive to air. They can be found congregated around street corners and park benches within education hours talking about what life will be like when they hit the big time and where's the best place to get skinny jeans. Having spent on average six months in music education and learning their fourth guitar chord yesterday, there is nothing about music these champions don't know. At the tender age of 18 these virtuosos have attended the Nirvana MTV Unplugged gig and have spent some time recording in Abbey Road with Pink Floyd. Lanyard Man Slash Woman Lanyard man slash woman can be seen within a half mile radiance of any council building between the hours 11am and 3pm, most weekdays, never weekends, never on a public holiday and strictly never after 4pm. More often than not they'll have a Costa coffee in hand and an expensive avant-garde plastic bottle filled with water for the house tap. These really important people are really important because they have a really important fob and a really important lanyard that lets them into really important buildings that nobody else gets into, like libraries. I don't know how they deal with that sort of responsibility. 